Well, good afternoon, and thank you all for joining us. Um, before Governor Snyder's budget presentation tomorrow, we wanted to come together and set the record straight on what he and legislative Republicans' agenda and what it's really meant for the state of Michigan, what it's meant for our schools, for working families, for seniors in our state over the last three years. Now, if his awkward Super Bowl advertisement is any indication, we know the governor is going to hearken back to his campaign persona and put on a show tomorrow about all the quote unquote good that he's done for Michigan. He's gonna champion a so-called budget quote surplus that is really no surplus at all. It is money that was directly stolen from our public schools and our retired seniors over the last few years. He's gonna talk about increasing education funding by $100 per pupil and hope that people forgot what he and the Republicans have done to our schools. Cutting funding by a whopping $470 per pupil in his first budget in order to raid $1.8 billion out of our school aid fund for other budget priorities the last three years. He's going to continue to try to spin the devastating cuts to public education in previous years as increases even though hardly any money has gone directly to Michigan classrooms and K-12 spending is down 20% from 2002 to 2012. Now, if you look at this chart, I think it makes it very easy to understand what has happened to education under Governor Snyder's administration. <clears throat> and tomorrow he's supposedly going to propose a $322 million increase to K-12 spending. But more than 80% of that money is once again slated to go and offset increased school retirement costs that we are legally obligated to pay. So this is really just all election year politics by the governor and Republicans trying to rebrand themselves as champions for school instead of their enemies. And to, uh, it's up to the media and the public to call them out on it. Governor Snyder is an accountant. And like any good accountant, he's a master of manipulating the numbers to suit his own needs. And tomorrow will be no different. He's going to say he's increased funding to our schools even though hardly any money has actually gone into the classrooms. Now I know that the governor has sends his kids to uh, private schools and that's fine. If you can afford to do that, I'm not going to criticize you. But as a mom who is actually in our public schools every day, I can tell you what all parents across the state know and what teachers and administrators know as well. And that is we have not seen increases to our schools. In fact, we've seen our children's class sizes go up and our school buildings crumble under this governor. And that's not likely to change just by him saying he's gonna throw $100 per pupil into the budget this year. If you look at this number, the governor's original cut of $470 per pupil, in 2013-14, they added $30 in per pupil, which made his cut just $440 per pupil. And now by adding another $100 in, it means we still are $330 per pupil less than when the governor took office. And I can tell you that's having a real impact on our kids and on our classrooms. Every economist worth their salt will tell you that education is an investment in economic development. It's not an expense, and a budget is not just a balance sheet. It's a statement of your values. So as we see this governor and what he's done to education, we are not going to stand idly by and listen to his spin. We're going to hold him accountable and we're going to continue to fight for our kids and for our schools.